Rosie Bird, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. As you can see, it looks like the town center's been all spruced up. Hello everyone, this is Tom Milk. It's 2.04 p.m. this happy Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Now then, I'm sure you can all guess what I'm going to tell you next. It's today's big announcement. As stated in a previous broadcast, today's, today we've completed construction all of the resident services building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. Ooh, who could it be? Come on over. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Isabel! Hi! Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the resident services staff here on Stripe. While I still have so much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here, hmm? I've got more to share. The building isn't the only new thing around here. We've gave the, we have gave gave the plaza some much needed improvements as well. Normally, the plaza is for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of its prime location. But keep an eye out for occasional seasonal events too. Should be such fun for everyone, yes, yes. Well, I believe that wraps up all of my announcement for today. Except for one final thing, this was my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be your new source for Island News. Well, thank you for all of your hard work, Tom Nook, but hello, Isabel, glad to have you. I'll do my best to share all the latest updates with you, so I hope you'll tune in often. I was wondering when she'd show up, this is so cool. Uh, yes, yes, there you have it, new building, new island staff, we are growing, growing, growing. Finding out what's new at resident services is as easy as stopping by and acquiring, hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new resident services building. We'd love for everyone to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be there to help you whenever you need us. Well, I'll definitely need the help. This is great, so we'll go and say hi to Isabel in the new resident services. We will go through the town and do our daily dues, you know, digging things up, uh, finding new items, all that kind of stuff. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm so glad. I've been hoping that she'd be in this game. I figured she would be. She was in the promotional art and stuff, but she, she just hadn't shown up until now. But she's here now. She was a little late, but better late than never. Oh, we get some mail as well. So let's check out what that's all about. Oh, the music's different. Anyways, Gulliver. Thanks for helping me escape your qu Queen Island of Stripe. A literal lifesaver like you deserves a reward, so please accept this souvenir from my travels. See you soon, probably. Check the beach. All right, place in the pocket. We'll see what that is soon. Um, but for right now, Nook Incorporated update from Resident Services to celebrate the opening of the new Resident Services building. We have lots of new Miles Redemption items available. Plus, we now have a new service for Nook Miles Plus members to earn five times more miles. A commemorative gift is attached. That's really interesting. So let's go ahead and first take a look at our gifts. Uh, one from Gulliver, one from uh, Nook Services. So this is a Nook Miles ticket. Awesome, we have a couple of these. And a Statue of Liberty. Let's take a look at this. Ha! Huh. That's interesting. That's like to a T. Wow. All right, I don't know if I want this or not, but I'll definitely want to see how much it goes for. So let's also take a look at the Nook Miles then. Yeah, five times. Not always, but some of the times. Sell a hot item for a fortune would be five times the amount of Nook Miles. So instead of 200, it would give us 1,000. Also catching five bugs, popping a balloon, catch five fish, sell some shells. We can get some of that done for sure. Definitely looking forward to it. So let's run through the town for right now. Um, we'll go to resident services. We'll dig up whatever spots on the, on the ground there are. We get our first fossil of the day. Look, I dug up a fossil. Very cool. And, uh, We'll also probably, you know, spend some time getting some oranges and stuff while we're here, you know? So do a bit of that. And yeah, this is super exciting. Each day, each episode, we're making a little bit more progress. We're getting a little bit more done. The island develops more and more. It's very exciting. I'm hoping that maybe having the resident services available will enable us to get more things set up in terms of bridges and staircases and stuff, because I really want to be able to expand the island even more than what we currently have it. Anyways, we're just gonna keep grabbing some stuff. Uh, can I get my shovel back out? Am I going the wrong direction? There it is. Dig this up, and there's fossil number two. But yeah, the music's different. It, it feels like very different. I know there's like hourly music. Oh, here's Celia. Hi, Celia. Uh, well, hello, feathers. I'll be seeing, I wanna get this first, sorry. <laughs> um, hold on, oh, I scared the bug away. Oh no, watch it. No, 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 no. Got it. 
So this is probably going to be a DIY. And I'll talk to Celia again. Just felt like talking feathers. What's the latest? When you aim your slingshot, do you keep both eyes open or do you close one of them? I think that keeping both eyes open might improve my aim, but my aim's not great anyway. Well, I'm sure if you keep working on it, you'll get there. What's going on, Feathers? Let's chat. I'm trying to get to know the community better. That's why I've been going around asking everyone questions lately. I've read that the right questions can reveal someone's personality. With that in mind, what's your favorite food? I know it's kind of a corny question, but cooking is my thing, Feathers. Oh, that's cool. I like pizza. Okay, there is pizza. It knew. It knew. Pizza. Making pizza is so much fun. Kneading dough, tossing it up into the air, and stretching it out. Every pizza that I bake is a new experiment and topping combination. So many possibilities, Feathers. It's one of my favorite things to make, so I'm glad to hear that it's your new favorite thing to eat. Yes, it is. Awesome. So I'm glad she's sort of just getting to know everybody and join the town a little bit, but we got the balloon pop, so that'll be 400 Nook Miles right there. Very good start to everything. And we'll keep looking around. Any more diggable spots? Uh, stuff like this is good as well. Ready? Boop. Oh, this is a money rock too. So we'll make the most of that. I like this music though. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna run out of time. Ah, oh, darn. That's what I get for being clumsy. Oh yeah, that's right. We have over 40,000 bells. Hopefully we'll make more throughout today's episode so that we can pay off our loan as well. So the stuff that's just happening, oh my gosh, is stacking up. It's really cool. Oh, there's some weeds in the way. I don't know if they'll end up blocking what we're trying to do. Come on, one more time. Yeah, okay, we still got all of them. And I'll take those weeds out of the way now. Very chill music, though. I do like that. This is the stick I dug up before. I didn't mean to. I did that last episode. <laughs> it's still here. Hey, look, I dug up a tree branch. It's something. So I'm just gonna stick to this part of the island for right now. We'll explore more of the other parts later once I uh, talk to Isabel and stuff, because I definitely want to say hello to her but while we're bouncing around. Oh, I hear something. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Get over there quick. Don't want it to fly away on us. Ready? Oh, I'm a little too far forward. Gotcha, it's a sky egg. And shovel. Let's see what we get out of this one. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. I'm trying not to, I'm just trying to make the most of my time. Oh, that's all I get. Gotta stop being so clumsy, I'm missing out on stuff. We got quite a few rock eggs this time. What about over here then? Ready? Whoop, it's another fossil. So we're definitely not getting as many eggs as before out of the ground, but that might change soon. Who knows? Can't get too comfortable with any one thing. Might change up on us and then, then where would we be? What about up this way? It's looking like we've gotten this first portion all cleared out for right now. So let's go talk to Isabel and stuff. Is there anything new on the bulletin board? Nope. Let's head inside. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. So let's go inside. Ooh, this place is so nice. A little crowded, but oh, I like the printer, the little laptop. It's very cute. Ah, oh, Zebra, hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved resident services tent. Oh, did I say tent? Of course I meant building, and we couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. You're Zebra, right? Mr. Nook has told me about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all of the ins and outs of the new job but I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. Well, thank you so much, Isabel. And there you have it, Isabel and I will split up duties here to better support you all. Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help with general island matters and resident support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush, rush over in two swishes of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now so we can introduce you to some new services. Now with all of that out of the way, I have something I'd like your help with. When you have a moment, please sit at my counter. I hope I can count on you, on your continued support of Stripe, uh, and our new resident services building. <laughs> now the tent. That's great, so I just sit right here, and he'll help me out. 
Yes, yes, this is the construction consultation center. Before we begin, allow me to quickly explain the services offered at my counter. In addition to my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to the island construction. There are lots of fun little projects that will make the island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines such as ramps and stairs, or even moving existing buildings. These are optional extras for your island experience, so these services will, of course, incur additional fees. And with the information in mind, what do you think? How can I be of assistance to you? Uh, I need your help. I wanna see what he offers and see what we can do. Oh, time to jump into action. By the way, one of my favorite questions is what should I do? If you really wanna dive in and get some work done, that's a good one. I enjoy giving my friends direction. Now, this is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? What should I do? Oh, you're already eager to hear how I can help you, how you can help out, hmm? Well, we've got a fine building for resident services now, and you've no doubt uh, admired the plaza, hmm? It's pri primed and ready for major events, if I have anything to say about it. To think that we started with a deserted island and have grown into a bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. Oh yes, I have big plans. Oh boy, tell me more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. got your attention, hmm? Our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician KK Slider come and put on a show here on Stripe. Zebra, I'm sure you know who KK is, yes? <laughs> uh, not a clue, I just wanna see what he says. What? Are you serious? His songs are constantly playing on the radio and yet somehow you've never heard of KK. Wait, then this means you have yet to experience listening to his deep discography for the first time. In a way, I'm almost jealous. Ah, sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan. It's easy to get sidetracked talking about him. Back to our goal, if we hold a KK concert here, Stripe could become a household name. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but a KK show would be the culmination of all of our hard work. I love your cooperation, Zebra. When you're ready to move for more details, come and ask me what should I do again? So you know what? What should I do? Uh, this is a construction consultation. Consultation, I cannot say that word. Uh, oh, I take that it means you're ready to hear the details of my plan to draw KK here to hold a concert. I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents and we'll call, we'll create a stripe so loved. Word of how great this island is will reach KK and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. So, the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. Campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here and it'll make for great PR material too. With that in mind, could you get out your phone, Zebra? Sure. Ooh. And done. I've sent you the recipe for a campsite construction kit. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for our new campsite. I'm counting on you. I definitely have some good spots in mind. I wanna see what else he has to offer though. Um, About my home. Let's talk infrastructure. Let's get down to business. Let's chat. There are a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? About bridges and inclines. Oh, curious about bridges and inclines, eh? Excellent, because with the renovation of resident services, we have something new for getaway package participants. This new service makes it easy and fun to add major projects such as bridges and inclines to the island. Major projects don't come cheaply though, no, no. However, everyone who lives on the island can freely contribute towards the construction fees. We can, discuss, we can discuss your island's hopes and dreams even if you don't quite have the funds together yet. Be advised you can only have either a bridge or an incline under construction at any given time, so consider your plans carefully before discussing them with me. Hmm? Now, what would you like to discuss? Let's build a bridge, build an make an incline, demolish something or nothing. Let's see how much it makes uh, costs to make an incline. Curious about setting up an incline? Ramps and stairs make it easier to ascend our cliffs. Yes, yes. Go ahead and pick out uh, one out of our catalog, please. Oh wow, they are very expensive. So we have like ramps here. They're 98,000 at the minimum. And then they just go up and up and up. So can't quite afford any of this at the moment. Uh, my, my, changed your mind, <laughs> of course I did. It is a rather large project after all. It's all, it's a good idea to think it through. Is there anything else I can help you with, hmm? I think that's about it for right now. Of course, of course, I'll be here when you need me. So, let's, first off, before we talk to Isabel, I, I wanna break up the action a little bit. We'll see what's new here. We got red brick flooring, a rusted part, I don't need that. A cedar sapling, I guess I might as well take. And then over this way, the Nook Stop Multimedia, 
Uh, we should get, wait, we're sorry that Nook Stop was unavailable all day yesterday due to construction or resident services. To make up for that, we're giving any customers who access the Nook Stop today 500 miles, what a deal. Also, regardless of your access history, your daily access bonus will be set at seven plus days tomorrow. We hope you'll continue to use this Nook Stop and the Nook Mileage program in the future. Talk about valuing the customer, keeping me coming back, I appreciate it. Um, so, what is going on here? We have a Bell Voucher. A voucher you can sell in the shop for 3,000 bells. Wow, that's interesting. I was thinking about this. Like, what if they had a way to exchange uh, miles for bells? They have that now. So, how many bells could I feasibly get? I could get um, 19, almost 19 tickets. 19 times three is, uh, was it uh, 57? So 57,000 bells? Interesting. Um, we also have Nook Miles ticket, customizable phone case kit, and the ultimate pocket stuffing. Hold on. Do we get more inventory? Information on the Mastering Pocket Organization for carrying even more printed immediately upon redemption. Thank you, I'm buying this one. We have just barely enough. Redeem 8,000 miles for ultimate pocket stuffing. Of course. There we go, now generating ultimate pocket stuffing. This is great. Your order has been printed. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I've mastered the art of organizing. I bet I can carry a lot of stuff now. Wow, that is amazing. I didn't even know there was going to be another inventory upgrade. I hoped, but I had no clue. Um, so I also wanted to see um, Nook Shopping. Special goods. We have a floor light, outdoor table. I already have one of these. Uh, Terry cloth do-rag, doctor's mask, six ball tea, three ball tea, sweatpants, slip on loafers, and bubble gum KK. Uh, I think for right now, I mean, actually, I'll get the bubblegum cake. I wanna build a little collection of these. These are fun. Um, it would be cool to be able to have all of them at some point. And I wanna get those posters eventually. But uh, in the meantime, go to the ABD and donate or deposit as much money as I can at the moment. I can't get the, well, I mean, I guess I could. I'll donate, or it's not donating. It's my own bank, my own account. It's depositing, 185,000, so 13,000 more deposited before we can afford that, that'll be awesome. Um, so that'll be it for now. Let's talk to Isabel. Hey there, it's good to see you. Oh, Zebra, here you are already. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details and specific concerns when con specific concerns arise. No need to worry about that right now. But since you're here, I may as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Uh, indeed I do. Oh, this is so exciting, my first official request. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That wasn't professional, was it? Now then, how can I help you today? Change the island tune, change the island flag, discuss a resident, I'm good for now. Uh, change the island tune, I don't know what to change it to, if you guys have any suggestions. I'm certain you've heard of the current Stripe Island tune, you really can't miss it. It, pays in it plays in multiple locations across the island and it reminds us uh, residents of, of the time. I think the current anthem is a, cl is a classic, but there's always room for a change of uh, an improvement. You don't have to be a musician to compose a tune, so if you have any ideas for a new one, let me know. So what is it right now? Oh, I do like that. For right now, we'll keep it like that. Maybe we could change it on our, you know, in a future episode. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, did you change your mind? Not a problem. If there's anything else you need, uh, you can find me right here. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, change the island flag. I did want to see this. You want to change the flag in front of the resident services and the one at the airport too? Fantastic. Our flag is a physical embodiment of everything on Stripe. It represents uh, of everything Stripe represents to folks on the island. It's proudly displayed in the front of resident services and outside the airport. I'll admit, the design is a little dated. Do you happen to have something else in mind? Oh wow, so I can choose, oh I see. So I can just make my own out of the custom designs. Um, I don't have anything in mind at the moment, but we'll work on it. Did you change your mind? Not a problem. If there's anything else you need, you can find me right here. Can I help you with anything else? Discuss a resident. I'm just curious to see what all these options do. What seems to be the problem, Zebra? Having trouble with another resident? I believe communication is key to solving any dispute, but if you've already tried talking with them, I will certainly intervene. I have no problem warning folks who use foul language or dress inappropriately. I want this island to be a welcoming place for all, so do you still need my help? I don't think so. I'm not here to like report anybody. Phew, that's a relief. I don't like confrontation. <laughs> Neither do I. Can I help with anything else? I don't think so, but it's been nice seeing you. 
All right then, if there's anything else I can assist with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Will do. So you two have been wonderful. Thanks for being so, uh, hospitalitous. Is that a word? Anyways, bell ringer, spending your bells on the island helps revitalize the local economy. Yep, yep, yep. So we've spent over 50,000 bells in the game. We need to spend 10 times that amount for the next reward, 500,000. We'll get there eventually. I don't know, I'm guessing if it's 50,000, that means that paying towards our loan doesn't count, which is sort of a shame because I've been working really hard for that. Anyways, with our expanded inventory space, we can do a couple of things. And I think my main goal for right now is going to be also talking to Pashmina over this way. Yo, Zebra. Hi, how are you? Yo, Zebra, you ever have a hard time putting your foot down about something? If someone won't listen to what you're saying, you gotta give, have the right reactions ready, like this. No, nah, -uh, not nothing doing. And just like that, you've hit him with disagreement. You gotta stand your ground sometimes, kidders. That's true, it's always good to know when to say no. Uh, I learned the disagreement reaction. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me try it out right now. I have quite a few reactions now, right? Well, actually, we have apologetic, and then we have uh, disagreement. <laughs> I like it. So let's talk to you again. What else is going on? Still got more to say, kidders? Do you want this? Whoa, what is it, kidders? What do I have to give her? Um, I'll give her the cedar sapling. It was free anyways. A cedar sapling, ha, huh, nice. You thinking what I'm thinking? Let's paint the island with greenery. Have anything else to say? Still got more to say? Let's chat. This one friend of mine used to keep a whole aquarium. She must have had 30 or 40 fish in there. I always thought the coolest one was to dab. I love how it swims. I'll get you one for you. What, seriously? Hey, if you're offering, I accept. I don't know if that'll happen anytime soon, but I'll try for it. Uh, and we'll start going to the other parts of the island now, seeing if there's any more fossils to collect and stuff like that. Over this way we have, oh, you can see some of our bamboo is growing. Well, that one is and these aren't. I wonder if they're too close to the water. That'd be peculiar, but it's possible. And over this way, we got more stuff to worry about. First, digging this up, here's our first egg of the day. Maybe it was gonna pop up sooner or later. Uh. And let's try this out. Oop. Already getting some iron nuggets, that's always good. Ooh, nothing but. Wow. Whoa, we're on a roll. Wow, that was crazy. Seven iron nuggets right there. That'll come in handy eventually. Wish we were that lucky earlier on when we were still trying to get our initial 30 for the, uh, the Nook's Cranny. Yeah, I wonder how many opportunities are now going to be open to us because of that being open. Because there's still so many more shops I wanna get, I think. I mean, I know that Mabel comes around every once in a while. I can only assume that she she will uh, move in at some point. I really want Mabel to move in. I wanna be able to upgrade Nook's Cranny if that's possible. Lots of stuff like that. So let's hope for it. Anyways, oh, this place is looking a little crowded. Oh, and we can choose where we wanna put our camp too. Remember, this is going to be the little, the little park next to the camp. I was thinking to the left could be the the camp, because we already have this whole area s sort of set out like this. So let's do that. Because Tom Nook gave me the thing, right? Oh, maybe he gave me the recipe to make it. I don't know. Um, anyways, Bunny Day Vanity. Might as well get that. Huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for Bunny Day Vanity. Very cool. And what about over this way? Anything of interest? Yeah, we have a little sand castle still. Hmm. Right now I'm just looking for things to dig up. Aha, money tree spot. Very good. Thousand bells, as per usual. And then we will just bury in the hole. Perfect. So we're almost on exploring uh, the, the bottom ground floor before we make our way up. And maybe there might be more villagers around, like Apple over this way. Hi, Apple, how are you doing? Hi there, cheekers. I wanna chat. I'm practicing striking a pose, just like yesterday. It's an important life skill. Never know when you might need to pose. Hey, it's super great to see you. What do you need? What's the latest? Your Misty tea is so elegant I could die. It looks so good on you. Oh, thank you. What are you all dressed up for? Going somewhere lishmancy? Not quite, this is my daily attire. I'm glad you're so impressed by it. She's so sweet. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a nicer villager. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one as well. Get more of these uh, grass eggs, or not grass eggs, leaf eggs. 
Because we've gotten a lot of these, but there is uh, probably a lot more we need left to go. So this is Celia's house. We've already talked to Celia today. We can get some oranges. And I wonder if Stu is home or not. Right now, let's get this started. And hope that we get everything we're looking for. I mean, really, I'm just looking to get anything. And we got that. It's only one iron nugget this time. But a couple of the eggs, a little bit of clay. I don't use clay too often, but I feel like we're starting to need it more and more. And here's another egg. I'm hoping for at least one more fossil. We found three already. So if we could find at least four in total, that'd be good. Anybody up this way? Not looking like it. We have plenty of inventory space left if I want to start picking up some shells. I should probably start doing that, especially if one of my daily doubles is to uh, sell some shells, I think 10 of them. So there's one. We'll walk around the beach real quick and see what else there might be. That's coral, so I don't think that counts. But here's two. Oh, here we go. Here's a bunny day bottle. Three. And that's it for this side. We'll go to the other side in a little bit. Right now, I am heading up here. Lots of, of uh, butterflies around. I only have, even now, I only have so much inventory space, so I don't want to catch all the butterflies just yet. Sooner or later. Some fish in the pond. There's always just so much to do. I enjoy it so much, but it'd be a lot to focus on. Aha! Here's another digging spot. I have a good feeling about this one, and I my feeling was correct. That is fossil number four, I think. Yep, number four. So let's see if we can't find number five around. If there is a number five. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. That's just sort of the long and short of it. Is there any rocks up here? I don't think so. So let's hop across. There's a honeybee over there. Have I gotten a honeybee? I don't know. Oh, he's, he's flying away. Come back. Ah, oh, he's gone. I think I've gotten a honeybee in the past, but there's another one right over this way. Ready? Gotcha. Yep, okay, I have. And I think a ladybug. I've gotten a ladybug before. Just making sure. Now, where is that balloon? Oh, okay, here it comes, here it comes. Got it. We're being pretty productive then. And it's an egg. Oh well. I think I still have to hit the rock that was in the corner over this way. Yep. What will we get? Is it just gonna be rocks? It's a rock rock? Surprise, surprise. Wow. Well, that's something, isn't it? I'll take it. So we've had one money rock, one iron nugget rock, and one rock rock. They're all very one-sided today. Here's another digging spot, and there's our fifth fossil of the day. That's crazy. If we could find five fossils every day, we'd speed through that uh, museum so fast, I would hope. Oh, there's some stuff here. I think I had a full inventory at some point. Anyways, we should be good to go up to the last little section. I don't think there'll be much up here because there typically isn't. But it's good to look around. Hmm. Yeah, not looking like it. And what about over here? All right, so that seems to be about it. That was a lot of fun though. So we can go to Blathers now. Oh, should I try for this fish? I think I should. It's a big one. It could just be an egg, but usually we don't see these river fish on the cliff top this big. So this could be a new fish. Ooh. Uh, it's just a, a black bass. All right, nothing too crazy. How's our inventory space? We only have enough room for one more thing. So I think we'll leave it like that for now. Deposit or assess and deposit these fossils. And then we'll be good. We'll, we'll be good to go back out and get more stuff done. Get some more of the daily doubles figured out. But it's already been a really fun episode in my opinion. And I'm super excited to see what else we get done. Okay. I keep on thinking that's the museum. Nope, this is the museum. But as long as we make progress like this in each episode, we'll, we'll get somewhere, you know? Hello. Ooh. Oh dear, pardon me. Why, well, hello, Zebra. 
Welcome to the Stripe Museum. How may I be of service? So, make a donation. Well, actually, I wanted to. Yeah, sorry, I did the wrong order. I know, I know. Try again. <laughs> Assess fossils. I got a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, and five. Here you go. So at least one of these is not in our collection. That's good. Uh, yep, he really does blather on sometimes. Make a donation. So two out of the five, we got the Mega me, mega Cerro Torso and the Iguanodon Skull. Interesting, ooh, 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 several things I see. So there is two more fossils for the collection. Very happy to see it. And now, we're heading out, we're skedaddling. So with that done, we can definitely sell some stuff to Timmy and Tommy and then also see what they have to offer since we haven't done that in today's episode. I think we'll definitely be able to pay off our loan today. I have a good feeling about it. And that'll be great, that'll mean the next day that I play, we should have, oh, there's a flamingo. Uh, we should have a new house upgrade. So let's talk to you guys first and sell what we have. Uh, I wanna sell. So we got, what is this, this is a statue. I wanna see how much this is. Cause I don't think I need the Statue of Liberty. 2,300. All right, I, I just, I feel bad because it's a gift, but at the same time, I just don't see myself putting that in my town and being like, yeah, that that's me, Statue of Liberty. Uh, so what else do we got? I definitely want to sell the oranges, whatever, dinosaur stuff we got. Don't want to sell that. Coral, the shells. Uh, I guess I'll see the, sell these since we already have some growing. Not those. Uh, that should be a good chunk of cash. 18,220. And with that, we can afford it. We can afford the new house upgrade. But let's see what you guys have to offer. Seems like you're interested in the fax machine. I don't need a fax machine, but very interesting. Don't know how many people watching even know what a fax machine is. It's like, it's like a physical email. <laughs> Seems like you're interested in an hourglass. Well, we have a, we have a clock already, so I don't think we need this. I mean, I don't think you usually use an hourglass to tell the specific time, but, oh, it's a little tower rack. Yeah, do you ever get a bathroom? I guess maybe not, but you could set up a room that looks like a bathroom. Looks nice, but I don't think I need it right now. And then there's a the little flamingo we could put on our lawn. I mean, seeing how we're not getting any birds at our birdhouse, maybe we just gotta get our own. This is Mr. Flamingo. Um, How much is it? 3,000. You know what? I'll take it. That'd also be a nice little doodad for the campsite. So maybe we'll consider that as well. But we got some Nook Miles now for the plus. It's not a daily double, but we do get 200 miles out of it either way. Now I have to talk to my neighbors. Okay. And also, let's see what different wallpapers and stuff they have for today. They have a pink umbrella. Blue intricate wall, I like that actually. Hmm. And the red art deco or deco wall, not quite sure. Oh, I love this, the pine board flooring. Yeah, I'll buy that. That's very expensive flooring, but worth it. We also have tatami, simple purple flooring, purple puzzle flooring. I think I'll keep it like that for now. Yeah, I'll keep it like that. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So we bought some of their stuff. I do wanna see what the daily bonus is, so we will just go up to the bulletin board like this. Today's hot item, inquired inside, bonfire. So I can make a couple of bonfires if I wanted to. That actually shouldn't be too bad. In the meantime, I wanna grab shells to sell. You know, yo, let's just jump across now. Ooh, because I need to buy or sell six more. I just sold four, and I just picked up another one, so. And there's another one, so now only four more to find. I was hoping there would be more on this part of the island, but there's not. Whoop. So back down this way. Uh, not seeing much at the moment. Okay, one. Here's another uh, thing, there's a second one. Third, I just need one more. One more shell is all I'm asking for. Darn, not quite gonna get it. We'll get it later though, I'm sure. Uh, for right now, 
egg message in a bottle. Hoppity ho, what a happy find. Here's an egg recipe pre present just for wonderful all of you. What kind of recipe could it be? What will we make? It's a hippity skippity mystery. Gather up eggs or craft it and see. So it's a bunny day vanity. I already know it. Ooh, all right, so what do I do with this? I guess I can sell it. Um, and then also message in a bottle. To whoever lifted this, the other day I was coming up with a new strength routine when a great DIY idea hit me. Instead, I got super psyched about it and I had to share it with someone. And now we're secret DIY bud, Swole cra Crafter Hamlet. Bamboo stop block. So we're getting some cool bamboo stuff now. Sweet, I want a DIY recipe for a bamboo stop block. So let's get back out there and look around for more stuff. So what did I need to do now? I need to capture more eggs and, not eggs, but uh, fish and bugs and stuff for the daily bonuses. Gotcha. So I caught a tiger butterfly. That's cool. We can also make our way back up. I wanna see what the requirement is going to be for uh, making a bonfire, because I'm not quite sure. So I've never really done one of the uh, showcase items. So here's the campsite construction kit as well. For that we need wood, softwood, hardwood, and iron nugget. So I might start working towards that in today's episode and finish it by the next episode. So for right now, I am looking for, what is it? The campfire. Is this the bonfire? That's a campfire, which should turn into a bonfire. Maybe I should just, yeah, alphabetical. Here it is. Bonfire requires a campfire and 10 wood. That's a lot of wood though. So we'll work towards that for sure. Might not end up happening right now. But in the meantime, let me organize some of my inventory. We'll head back out and we'll get more fish and bugs. All right, so there we go. We, we got everything organized now. I just sort of put everything in the, in the storage, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So looking for bugs along the way to the water so that we can catch some fish. I wanna mostly focus on ocean fishing so that we can increase our chances of getting a dab for Pashmina. That would be good. Because we have two daily doubles, uh, five fish, five bugs are two of them. There we go. And that's the dab, wow! That was fortunate. Let's go find Pashmina right now then. And also get the uh, net back out. So that if I run into bugs along the way, we can do that too. Now that I know though, that we can exchange Nook Miles for, oh here we go. Nook Miles for Bells, that's even more of an influence to do it. Once we get everything in the Nook Miles, you know, I can just start exchanging it for Bells and that's even better because I have a lot of things to spend bells on now that we know how expensive bridges and slopes are. Insanely expensive. So there's that done. Um, and that is the Nook Miles Plus. Awesome for the bugs. Right there, so that's 300 more miles. We're getting there. And complete DIY projects. I'll work on it for right now though. Oh, here's Pashmina. Hey, if it ain't Zebra, one second, kidders. There we go, we <laughs> just have to get up. All right, what do you got? I caught something. Oh, you brought it? Ah, oh, this is so exciting, kidders. So here is your dab. Hope you enjoy it. A dab, it's just what I wanted. Way to go, zebra. I knew you could pull it off. Oh, what are you giving me? I didn't want to seem like a mood, so I went ahead and picked out a cone for you. A, a cone? As in just like a traffic cone? A cone. All right, well, maybe that'll become useful at some point. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but let's just keep moving on along the river because I do have more fish to catch for this daily double milk miles. Come on now. Oh, that got your attention. Oh, nice, there's a little bluegill. And what else do we got going on? Right there. Maybe, I might have to move it over a little bit. Right in front of him. Thank you so much for looking at that. <laughs> what is this one gonna be? It's just a black bass. But hey, a fish is a fish. I think we need to catch one more. And that was right in front of them. Oh no, I got excited. Oh darn. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. It's fine. 
Going back down here now. Aha, here's another fish. Chance number two. Oh, okay. It's a sea bass, but it's still a fish. And there we go. It's Nook Miles Plus again. Got it. So we still have, like I said, a couple more shells. Well, I just need to find one more shell. And then we also have to talk to villagers, but those aren't as important because they're not doubled. They're so important and eventually do, but I don't have to rush it or focus on it as much. So where is this coming in at? That's another Rainbow Bunny Day one. But I'm getting very excited about the fact that we're finding recipes that I already have. That must mean that we're getting through the most of them. Or maybe that we have all of them at this point. That's just another egg though. So you know what, now is as good of a time than ever. We can sell some of our stuff to Timmy and Tommy again. Some of the fish and bugs we just caught, because none of them are new. Okie doke. I want to sell. There are 21,240 bells. I don't think I want to sell the cone just yet, but I can definitely sell all of that and the Bunny Day Vanity. 2,570, it's not a ton, but it's something. I didn't spend too much time on it, so that's good. So let's go to the town center then, and we might as well pay off the loan now. That is over here. Can't believe how awesome our new town center is though. And that Isabel is this, you know, surprise guest on our on our island now. Does she get her own house? That'd be cool. They're just sort of chilling out, looking out the window. Hope she gets a day off soon. Uh, so, yo, let's go to the ABD. And I will deposit for right now, I think 20,000. I'm not gonna need more than 3,000 bells right now. I've done most of my spending for today. And with that, our loan payment from our savings, the full amount, all in one go. Look at that. Thank you for using this service. Hooray, we did it, yes! I finished paying off my loan. Look at Isabel clapping for us, and Tom Nook. Awesome. So hey, uh, oh, come on over. <laughs> I love his little jog. Well, hello there, Zebra. Congratulations, you are the proud owner of a luxuriously sized paid in full home. I can't imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. Truly, what could be better, hmm? Well, I suppose you could have had another room. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me, I simply can't help myself. But do come see me if I've uh, piqued your interest. Well, I, well, you have. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. This is the Construction Consultation, consultation Center um, about my home. So you'd like to talk about your home, hmm? Oh, but there's something I should tell you first. Along with layout assistance, I'm also ready to help with residents who want to move their homes. Uh, that's something we can do even if you're still repaying your loan. If you're interested, tell me, yes, yes. All right, I've kept you waiting long enough. How can I help you? I want to expand. Well, hmm, for your home, I think adding a new room would be nice. If we add to onto the back, it won't change the look of the home, but you'll get so much more space. It'll also keep the construction costs down, relatively speaking. This will require a taking on a loan of 348,000 bells. What do you think, do you wanna proceed? Let's do it. Excellent, I'll get the construction started right away. Everything should be ready for you by tomorrow morning. So exciting, exciting indeed. Well, that's cool, so by tomorrow, we should have ourselves a brand new home. Or at least, I think the construction will begin tomorrow, I don't remember, it's something like that. Uh, but sooner or later, we'll have a whole new room to use. Oh, hi, Celia. Have we talked to Celia since we started this one, uh, Daily Nook Miles? I don't think so much to see, even when you're just out for a walk, Feathers. Chat with me. So, is it true you were out burying, burying money yesterday? I swear I wasn't spying on you, Feathers. I just heard a rumor going around, really none of my business. Well. I mean, you can ask if you want, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, we were, because it grows into more money, would you believe it? Also, there's some more bugs around. Even though I do have uh, these bugs, I might as well capture them. We can make some more money out of it. But then I wanna go and talk to Biff, because he's definitely, oh no, Arnett! Oh darn. So I'll have to go and make a new one. <laughs> Maybe bad timing for everything then. So let's go ahead and talk to Biff if he's home. Indeed he is. Probably getting some workouts done. If I had to guess, what else is he doing? Hey buddy, how are you? 
Yo, welcome. Relax and make yourself at home, squirt. Lay it on me. So this is weird. I was doing my morning boulder lift, same same as always, and a stone egg popped out. Then for my afternoon boulder lift, I went on a Nook Miles ticket tour and I got even more stone eggs. I think I'm just gonna lay off the boulder lifts for a bit, Squirt. <laughs> yeah, it is a little weird, isn't it? Um, what's going on, Squirt? This is for you. I can give him another butterfly. I think that's really all I have to give. Or I can give him the cone that Pashmina gave me. I'll give him the common blue bottle. He has one already. Hey, common blue bottle. Thanks, I'll be real careful with it. Did you know that some bugs can lift you? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you've told us. You're so generous, use the 390 bells to bulk up your bag account, Squirt. Thanks, I didn't need that, but I appreciate it. And I wanna chat with him one more time. I wanna chat. You were hitting rocks yesterday, weren't you, Squirt? I love that tingling feeling with my arms. My arms get whenever I hit a rock. I like to pretend I hit a grand slam home run. I'm pretty sure that tingling feeling is pain. Be careful, buddy. Uh. Anyways, let's claim 200 more miles right there. And what else is going on? We have Catch a Loach. They're in the river, I think. Also, I guess maybe I miscounted or some of the shells that I got didn't count because it said we were only at seven out of 10 for the shell. So I'll have to keep collecting more of them. But for right now, you know, we've made some good progress for today. I think that if there's anything more I really need to do, if I want to work towards that campsite for the next episode, the thing I need to get done is getting some wood. So we'll use whatever rest of the durability we have for this flimsy axe, or maybe I should just go and upgrade it now. You know what, yeah. And then do I have, I have two sticks. I don't know how many I need for a net. So we'll sort of sit down, no, 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 and figure this out now. Gotta upgrade my axe, I have to upgrade, I need to get and then upgrade a net. So for the net, tools over this way, Uh. Flimsy shovel, no, no, not that, what am I doing? Uh, the net, it needs five branches, and then this requires three wood. Okay, five branches, three wood, and a iron nugget. That shouldn't be too bad, I hope. But then I'll just sort of clear out as much wood as I possibly can for the rest of today's episode. So I need to go here, sort by alphabetical, sure. So tree branches over this way, Move the pockets. Iron nuggets up here, we have a lot of them. I just need these. And then wood. So that should be all the way at the bottom. Yeah, we desperately need more wood. No matter what I do, it just the game doesn't give it to, it to you too often, unfortunately. So, back out this way. Go like this. Should I craft something? Absolutely. Starting with the stone axe, we'll get that done. No problemo. I made a stone axe, keep crafting. And then we need a normal net right over here. Oh, that's a flimsy net, and we turn that into a normal net. Hopefully we can get even more upgraded stuff soon. That'd be nice. Okay, so I made a net. That's it for now. And we are going to just, honestly, the big goal for the rest of today's episode is just knocking down a bunch of stuff. Trying to get as much wood as possible. And there we go, 3,080 miles in total. I'm not gonna catch any more bugs at the moment. Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic having a new town center. I can only hope that means options for expanding and upgrading will continue soon. I think for right now they want us to set up like bridges and stuff, and I think that'll be our next goal when it comes to like bells, is trying to either set up a bridge or a a thing, um, a slope. I think that the slope would be better because they can actually access that on the right side anyways, and then we just have to build one bridge. It'd be nice if I could build my own bridge thing, but I guess I can't. Anyways, right now, one, two, and three. And we're getting wood. Not a ton at the moment, but we'll just keep at it until every tree has been smacked. Hi, Pashmina. Hope you're enjoying your, your dab. There we go. But yeah, it'll be very cool also to set the campsite. That's another big thing I'm very excited for. Because I think we could get some cool ideas set up with that. I mean, I already have the flamingo. Like I said, I wanted to sort of, I, eventually, if we can set up pathways and stuff, I'd love to make like a little, campsite with a pathway to the beach, a pathway to the the little playground, and make it so it's like, it's a part of the town, 
but it's also sort of existing in its own little spot. We're getting a lot of normal wood so far, that's good. Usually what I need the most of. If I've already hit that one. I haven't run into bees in a little bit though. So we'll have to see how that turns out. We might run into more soon. Got it. And what about over here? Whoa. Okay, I guess that tree's already been done. Oh, here's Biff again. He's just taking a little stroll now. Working those leg muscles. Good on you, buddy. There we go. Well, oh, there's a little butterfly. <laughs> he seems to be just admiring it. I love Biff. He's one of my favorite villagers so far. He just sort of goes with the flow and he just enjoys stuff. What about this one? Yeah, I'm still very undecided about my town flag and my town tune. For the tune, I really have no clue. But for the, the, the flag, I guess what I could do is I could just do, you know, my icon. So that'd be fun. It might be a little bit difficult to make pixelated though. It's not impossible, it just might not be easy. Okay. Oh, I hear a balloon coming in. So I might wanna figure that out. Oh, I see it, I see it. I'm coming over there, let me hit this one first. Oh, it's moving pretty quick. The winds are quite rough right now. Oh no, try again. It's moving forward, weird. Gotcha, there's another egg for us. And up this way, we still have a good chunk more. Actually, I hear another one. Where is it now? There it is, oh, it's a green one. I forget what the green means. Uh, Might be clothing? Yeah, military uniform. Huh, interesting. I don't really need it, but very cool to see. Maybe I'll just put that away for right now. Like I said, we're still trying to build up our wardrobe and stuff, but eventually I'll probably wanna sell that if I don't find any good use for it. What about over here? Nope. So I've gotten the most of this. Oh, I scared the bug away. Sorry there, Mr. Bug. Here we go. So honestly, I might just wanna use this ax until it's all used up, and that'll probably be where we wrap it up for today's episode. There we go. Over this way, what do we got going on? Two and three. Oh, that's a big fish in the, uh, the river bank there. I'm gonna get that now. I feel like this could be a good good fish. Because I think that the, the fish in the river bank specifically are their own kind of like little category, just like you can find river fish and ocean fish. He's being a little bit picky with me right now though. What, you didn't want that? Come on, buddy. Try now. Aha! No, oh, I got, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I swear I saw it go under the water there. <laughs> oh well. Every time we try to catch a fish, even if we make a mistake, we'll get a little bit better at it. So I've gotten all that. Okay, I haven't gotten this one. So at least this is going well. We have 21 normal wood, 23 soft wood, and 29 hardwood. Yeah, let me switch that stuff over. Definitely can give a couple of cracks at this tree. I'm glad we're actually getting a good balance of everything this time. Typically we don't. Usually it's mostly soft wood or hardwood, and then I just don't get very many normal wood. It still seems like I'm getting more of those than normal wood, but it's not as drastic. Okay, so, nope, there it goes. All right, so that's probably where we'll wrap it up for today's episode. Maybe I'll make one more and then just you know use it in the next episode, but I'm glad we could get that done. It'll make us one step closer to building the campsite. Very excited for that. That is the main goal for the next episode is to you know make the campsite. So what do I need for the ax again? I need, for the basic flimsy ax, I need a stone and then I'm going to need some normal wood. Sort of stinks I have to spend some of the wood I just used, but It'll be worth it. So just going into here, we'll very quickly pull up this. 
and then get some stones. Yep, move the pockets. Oh, I hear the bells going off. I guess it's, yeah, it's 3 p.m. So every hour on the hour, you'll be able to hear the town noise. So that's what we could change if we wanted to. Uh, so let's craft. Uh, and we'll go over this way. Yep, yep. And then one more time. Go down over here. Perfect. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to be gathering a lot of materials, doing a lot of crafting so that we can get that camp situated. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.